back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my October favorites for you guys. And I'm super excited because I feel like I have good stuff to show you guys. I'm not even going to blab anymore. Let's go ahead and jump right into the video. So the first products that I'm going to start off with are lashes because these have been my go-to lashes. I'm a huge fan of stacking lashes and kind of creating my own. Lately I've been wearing the Salon Perfect 614 lashes as well as the 6 15 lashes. I couldn't see the number. So yeah, I have been stacking these ones on top of these and they have been my go-to. My Walmart actually had these on clearance and I bought all of them. I just love how long and wispy they are. Um, together, they are just the perfect lashes for me and they're just something that I love to wear. I know the 615s are pretty hard to find. Um, for me, my Walmart always pretty much has them, but um, I've heard they're, they're pretty hard hard to find so if you guys can get your hands on these you can create your own lashes next thing that I want to talk about are these elf cleansing wipes elf actually has been sending me packages lately and I am so grateful for it because elf is probably one of my favorite like brands I've been using them since I started with makeup one of the things in there were the elf cleansing wipes and you guys let me just say that these are probably some of the best cleansing wipes that I've personally used but I have never tried these and I'm so happy I got the chance to because they're probably my favorite ones. They take off literally everything. I always use Neutrogena cleansing wipes and sometimes it misses like either lipstick or if I like to wear like liquid lips it'll miss the liquid lips and it kind of gets stuck but these take it off in like two seconds amazing they take off everything and these are only I believe like two or three dollars so I'm gonna go purchase these but this one has been my go-to and I have ran through these because they are amazing my next product is the benefit stay don't stray and I know this is like the tiniest little bottle ever I've had this in my drawer for so long and I typically just stay with like my Mac paint pots and everything but I decided to use this up just to kind of get rid of it this is one of my favorite eye primers lately this is the only thing that I use it's so nice on the skin and it feels really good when you start blending out your eyeshadows I feel like it's not too thick but it's not like super thin to where it's like do I even have eye primer on so I've been loving this it gives great coverage this one is in light to medium I believe so I have two face products that I've really been loving the first one is the Too Faced Hangover RX primer now this one I have used before I decided to get a new one this is just like the little small one that they have and I decided to get this because I wanted a new primer Lord knows why. I have too many of them already. It's so great for moisturizing your face and really hydrating it and getting it ready for, you know, any type of foundations or anything like that, especially if you're using like a matte foundation and you want it to go on really smooth. This does the job. It smells great. It feels great. And I just absolutely love it. My next face product is the Anastasia Foundation Stick. Now, the thing about this one is I actually got the wrong color, so I feel like I don't love this as much as I know I could love it. I have mine in the shade Golden, and I think I it's a little too dark. This would be the perfect color for me if I was just a smidge darker, and I feel like since it's winter, or it's starting to get to winter, I feel like I'm starting to lose all types of color. But um, yeah, I love the foundation stick. It works really, really well. I love foundation sticks. I think they're so convenient to just put all over your face. I love their shade range. Anastasia is the best with shade ranges. So if you think there's not a foundation shade out there for you, I promise you there's one in this foundation. So I have a few eye products that I've really been loving. And my first two are these Makeup Geek Full Spectrum Eyeliner Pencils. Makeup Geek actually sent me a huge package full of things and they sent me two of their eyeliners and this one is in black and in nude and guys these are some of the best eyeliners I love creamy eyeliners that stay put and these are awesome they glide on like butter oh my gosh you guys they're so good they glide on like butter they're beautiful it just, they're so good. So yeah, I've been loving, loving, loving these eyeliner pencils. I use them on a daily basis. Um, I'll either use the nude or the black depending on 
what I'm doing, but I pretty much use these almost every single day. Next eyeliner is probably one that I mentioned over summer, but I cannot remember, so I'm still going to mention it again. I decided to pick up my Jessie's Girl Eyeliner. This is by far one of my favorite liquid liners. It is so easy to use. It is the perfect liquid felt tip pen that I've ever used. I used to get one from Ulta and it was the pixel party proof one but they don't sell it anymore so I decided to pick this up because I've heard a lot of good things about it. It does not move, it does not budge, and it just glides on. The best thing about this eyeliner pencil is I can control how thick or how thin I want it and it works so incredibly well. So if you guys have not tried this pen liquid liner you guys are definitely missing out. I think you guys would absolutely love this, especially if you're looking for something super quick because this is very, very quick. My next eye product is a mascara. This is the Makeup Forever Excessive Lash Mascara. I use this every single day on my lashes. It is my favorite mascara at this moment, and it's weird because it's a very small wand and I'm usually only a fan of these type of wands for my lower lash line. It gets in there, it lengthens my lashes and it just looks really really good. It makes them look super full without overdoing it and this gives you a lot of like fullness and volume. So a lip product that I've been loving is the one that I'm wearing right now and this is Anastasia's liquid lipstick in sepia and I'm so excited I picked this up finally. I have been eyeballing this baby since since it came out. Oh, you guys, this is my favorite, favorite lipstick right now. I wear it all the time. All the time. If I'm going to dinner or out or something like this, this is on me. I can guarantee it because it's the perfect color. It's like dark but not super super dark and it's light enough but like not too light. I could wear this with literally everything and it looks great. So I have been loving, loving, loving this. I love the formula of Anastasia liquid lipsticks. Like it's perfect. It's the perfect formula. I have so many liquid lipsticks, but these ones I just feel like glide on so amazingly. They feel great and they stay on forever. Alright, so I have one more like individual face product that I've been loving. This is the Ofra Cosmetics Rodeo Drive Highlighter. Ofra Cosmetics was so kind and sent me a package and they threw this in there as a surprise. I was so excited I got this. I am a sucker for highlighters right now and they're just my favorite things and gold highlighters are bomb. I love gold highlighters. I am obsessed with it. It's beautiful and as if you can't see it on my cheeks already, I'll still swatch it for you guys. Look at this. So freaking beautiful. I have been wearing it non-stop and sometimes I even just throw this onto my eyelid for an eyeshadow and it works so good. Alright, so now we're going to get into the palettes because I have quite a few palettes that I want to share with you guys. A um, few of them are like my own palettes, but uh, I have a few that aren't my own palettes. So the first palette that I want to share with you guys is the Pure Cosmetics Transformation Palette. I cannot put this down. I haven't used all of the eyeshadows yet, but I use this almost on a daily basis. I always put this on my lid. I always use these on my face. I don't really use these on an everyday basis because they're kind of wild for going to teach third graders. This is a palette that I typically wouldn't buy or purchase on my own just because, I don't know, I felt like I wouldn't really use any of this, but I have been using it non-stop. It's so convenient to have my eyeshadows and stuff. I even use this as a crease color sometimes and it works out so good, you guys. So good. So yeah, I've been loving, loving, loving the Transformation palette. Two other palettes that I've really been loving are these palettes from Estee Edit. And I almost said Estee Lauder, but it's pretty much the same thing. These are the Gritty Eye Palette and the Face Glow Palette. And I'm so excited to show this to you guys. You guys have probably seen this already everywhere. But this is the Gritty Eyeshadow Palette. Beautiful, beautiful palette. I am obsessed with with these eye colors. I just used this one in a tutorial recently, which you guys will probably see either before this or after this. I'm not sure yet, but I have been obsessed with these. Um, this one is like a, it doesn't look like it on camera, but when I'm looking at it, it's sort of like a duo chrome. It has a lot of purple in it as well as like dark blue, but on camera it's pulling up very teal. I am just obsessed with these. These are such great quality and they're beautiful colors. And this is my kind of palette. Like the colors, 
I would use every single one of these and not leave one behind. The Face Glow Palette is beautiful as well. This is what that looks like. And as you can see, there's so many different highlight colors and they're beautiful. Now, my only problem with this one was that it didn't come off as bam as I thought it was going to come off. I love to use these for a very subtle highlight or just to give my face a really pretty like natural youth looking glow. I feel like I'll never really use these ones maybe as eyeshadows but I feel like I'll never really step into this area but these ones are my jam. So my next two palettes are palettes that are like my own but I put products in them so I have two Z palettes. My first Z palette that I want to talk about is this one and I want to talk about these four things right here. Makeup Geek actually sent me a package and they sent me two contour colors, two blushes, and a bunch of eyeshadows. These contour colors are to die for. I'm wearing them right now, so they're a bomb. They're so good. Blushes are so pigmented. I just, you guys, I am obsessed with these. Once again, these are products that I use on an everyday basis. I love using these contour colors because they're sort of like natural bronzing contour colors, but they look really good on the skin. These blushes are to die for. You guys know that these types of blushes are my jam, so I just am so excited. So my next one is my eyeshadows from Makeup Geek, and I have been absolutely loving them loving these so for a long time I've been wanting to try out makeup geek eyeshadows and I just have never gotten around to like purchasing them this palette is my go-to eye palette I use them every single time I do makeup and I'm wearing them right now of course I am so excited I cannot wait to get more of these shadows I can't wait to go online and just like purchase like every single one <laughs> very comparable to the Anastasia ones and my opinion I feel like they're a little bit better for cheaper price these have been my go-to eyeshadows and everything like that like I don't think I've picked up another palette since all right you guys so that is it for my October favorites I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys share with me your guys's favorites for the month of October or just favorites in general because you guys know I am always looking to find new products and use new products and new brands these are just things that I have been just so in love with and I cannot put them down I use them either on a daily basis or every time that I do like glam makeup because it's like my favorite things in the whole entire world like I said I hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up if you guys love watching favorite videos don't forget to follow me on all of my social media you guys can find me on Instagram Twitter Facebook snapchat definitely follow me on snapchat because I'm always on there don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already and I will see you guys in my next video bye